Well, y'all, I'm walking back to get a picture of what I just managed on my own. Now, I'm okay with the water crossing. But this water crossing, when I came to come up on this side, go in that direction, it looks pretty, you know, pretty mild and okay. But right here, where I'm walking back to, I could not film this in the moment. So I'm walking back. There was this sharp ledge to get up over right here. You see this sharp ledge? Let me get on the other side of it. So I had to pick an area because I have no skid plates on my tracker. This is a pretty cool. It's beautiful here. Look at how beautiful this is. It's incredible, right? Totally incredible now. And I'm noticing that the electric feeling in my hand, look how pretty that is, is kind of starting to happen again, which may be the shaking around or something. I don't know. But if I had gone on that path where somebody else had gone where there's two tracks, that rock in the center might have bumped something under my car. So over here, I picked this spot because that shelf in the middle would have hit something. I have no skid plates. So I went up here and I slid in the rocks and I had to go backwards a couple of times, but I didn't scrape anything. So yay, yay me, we did this. And so there's the tracker way, way up there. Can I see it? Well, I'm saying way up there up the hill. So I decided to stop and have a snack. We uh, checked with the radios. Pixie's riding with me today. And um, we checked on the radios and it sounds like they're stuck in the river way back a little bit. And I don't see a place where they could have met up with me yet. So we will drive on forward in a little bit and see if we can find a group.